Good morning, Taurus. This is your bonus reading for November 2019. Sorry, they're late. They all got erased off of my <clears throat> off of my device. I have no idea why. But it is Mercury in retrograde yet, so that very well could be why. Um, please hit like and subscribe for a chance to win a free reading or a hypnosis. I'm getting really cra crazy responses. It's awesome. And so it's five degrees here in outside of Chicago. It sucks. <laughs> All right. So anyway, we're going to get to your uh, reading and it looks to me, Taurus, you're going to be taking a leap of faith here. You're going to be trying something new. You're going to be trying. I kind of feel like some of you guys, it might be in love. Um, I just know that you're on your way to victory and you're like, okay, I'm doing this. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's do it. And there's a new, there's, it's, there's a new change. There's a co change coming. Okay. I want to say in the past, there may have been somebody that was juggling two people. <laughs> this may have been, this may be money. This may be, you know, where things aren't working out. Um, money, time, resources. It could be a job too. You know, your job, you were we being overworked and you were trying to juggle too much, you know, and it's just, it wasn't working out for you. It just wasn't, you know, um, so now you're in the process of taking a leap of faith and things are going to work out really good for you. I just consider this the May Day card, the May Pole card is kind of what I kind of always consider it. Um, you know, you're looking forward to it with enthusiasm, that type of thing. Okay. Um, you know, something's still a little hidden though. There's something, a little confusion or something's a little hidden. Um, I always think that the moon hides and it's it's can be also confusing. It can also be with do with animals. Um, it is a water sign. I see keep seeing water signs through this. Um, I saw a um, king of cups too, and so there might be a person that's that's a water sign coming in. Okay, your death card's your new start. So what are you gonna do with this? <laughs> you know. Um, let's see, look at you got some stress. That you're trying to get rid of. So, yeah. So, just be careful what you're going to do. If you're going to go ahead and you're going to do this, just be careful. Um, I want to say you're, it's not necessarily a bad card this time. I, you know, sometimes this is like crying, dressed out, uh, cutting like a, like a surgery, <laughs> but I don't think so. I think you're cutting out crap, you know, and it's been hard work too. This is going to be hard work for you to do it. So you might actually be in under a little stress, but it's a new new beginning for you. It's going to work out. Um, I feel like there's love, that there's something to do with somebody's, uh, somebody's, it has to do with somebody. Um, it could be that you're making a decision to get rid of someone and starts over with someone else. Okay. Let's lay one more set of cards for some clarification. All right, um, I'm dragging this morning, got folks. I'll tell you what, I have a small farm, rescue farm, and it's so freaking cold. I just can't get over this. I'm I, just six months of this dark, dingy stuff just really gets to me. So if I seem a little down, yeah, I'm a comedian medium, but you know, I'm human too. So <laughs> it's just I, I need to work. I need to move someplace warmer. <laughs> Let's see what we got. Yeah, you got a tower card. You know, I feel like you got something hidden. There's some dis oh, there's some decisions to make. Definitely some decisions to make. I feel like you guys are gonna sit on it for a little while longer. You know, I hanged man. Um and I want to say, too, that this is self-imposed. So whatever decisions you're making now is what you're going to be deciding. Um, you know, when I see this, I know it's it's soul-searching, but I also know that this is also hidden. There's, like I said, there was two hidden. There's a moon card. Now there's the, the priestess card. So, you know, you... I 
I, I, you just have to be careful what, what you're choosing. I want to say this. It's not necessarily even bad, any of this. Okay? Um, it is a surprise, however. Or it is a shake-up, I should say. All right? Don't be afraid of it. I feel like you're in limbo, you know? You... This could be, too, it has something to do with a vehicle or going forward. You know, this could have a vehicle because the chariot's a vehicle. Um, I feel like it's going to change your life. Like, you're in a huge, like, this is a big thing. Okay? Um, I'm a, I, by the way, I'm a Taurus North Node, so I may be even by accident, accidentally reading for myself at this point. But, because um, I know I'm in, I'm in that, that stage right now, too. So, um I feel like there's somebody in your life that's coming in and out. And I feel like, I want to say they're not, they may be giving you an ultimatum or offering you something. Okay. So, um, yeah, I think so. That's what it is. You know, you're getting an offer or a surprise. I want to say some of you guys, something about money. And I'm not sure, I'm not like you're going to win the lotto, but there's like some type of opportunity where you're gonna, you can, there's money coming to, to you uh, for some of you, okay? Um, so I think of what else I get off of this. It's, you know, see, look at, you've got all these choices to make. All right, what kind of choices are you making? See, look at. So all these go cards, these go right with the cards. You just keep, you know, it's a choice. It's an opportunity. It's, I want to say something that hasn't come along in it before. If it has, you've let it slip out of your fingers. This is an opportunity that you just, you almost can't let go. You, you just, you have to go with it. Okay. So if you get an email offering you something strange, like you got, you got a book offer. You know, I'm an author. I get it. <laughs> you know, you get something like that, go with it. You can't turn it down. You can't. It's got, it's part of the, it's almost like a destiny type thing that's been planned by you and the universe. So, um, if you're going to, I feel some of you guys are like leaving <laughs> our relationship or you're going to find something out about some, on somebody else's relationship that Gives you clarity about you making your decision. So when it comes to that kind of thing. All right. Um, what else we got? I'm going to lay some. I usually lay these cards also. Uh, you know. Hmm. Giving me, me a little bit of retrospection here. So. Follow your passion. You're safe and protected. Yeah, we all know that. We are, you know. Um, we think that we're not, but speak less, listen more. Go ahead and do it. Just go ahead and do it. Just told you. Go ahead. Pay attention to your visions and dreams. This may be bigger. This may be a part of a broader picture for you. All right? Um, like making long-term plans. For maybe a business or walk, you know, walking out of your job. Make your plan. I feel like some people are ready to walk out of their jobs. They're like, you know what? This is bull crap. I'm not doing this anymore. Um, and they just, just be careful. You have a backup. <laughs> just a warning. All right? For yourself. For yourself. You know? It's when it's, all, when it's all said and done, 50 years from now, you'll probably be dead. And it's not going to matter. So what are you doing now to make a difference? You know, are you doing something that's going to create a legacy? Are you doing something that's going to create, you know, life's too short, guys. <laughs> so whatever you're deciding now, just go ahead and do it. Because in the long run, it looks to me that you're having, you're a little bit afraid of it, but don't be. Okay. And with that, namaste. Hit like and subscribe. 
Um, go to my enchantedsky.com for my for a reading, or you can hit my blog page on there now. You can hit my Facebook on there. <laughs> Everything's been redone. I, I finally updated it. Yeah, it was pretty sad. So <laughs> anyway, um, namaste. Hit like and subscribe. Let me know how you're doing.